Hi, you're watching My Garage. I'm your host, Tiger Slave, and today we're going to give you the proper instruction of how to hammer a nail. First, you're going to need a nail, and a nail usually has a sharp pointy end on one side and a flat cap on the other. Make sure you don't pick up a screw. A screw will have a spiral shaft and also some nails do. But there's nothing on top, just a flat spot on the nail. Whereas you'll see, you'll have an addition symbol or and a subtraction. In other words, a plus or a minus. There's your sign. Next, get yourself a jar of glue, of wood glue. Remember to put on your safety glasses. Even when you're not working with toxic chemicals, I like to wear two for double protection. Safety is never an accident. It's thought and care in action. I always submerge the entire nail into the glue. That'll strengthen it so much, a billion billiard bar bartenders couldn't get it out. Even if you fed them, fed all of them. Succulent, well-rounded cod. Grab your hammer by placing the handle, which is the long smooth section, into the palm of your hand. Now hammers, these handles can be made out of metal. It could be fiberglass, it could be graphite, or all kinds of different composite materials. They can also be wrapped with leather, which is my favorite, or you got rubber, plastic, and other coatings, depending on your particular model. Before you begin, make sure the flat part of the hammer is facing the flat head of the nail. What I like to do is start the nail on an angle so it goes in crooked. What that'll do is it tangles it up in, into the wood, it makes it so strong that it'll never come out. End it up with a light brushing of glue on the head of the nail. That will seal the deal. That's how you properly drive a nail. With a little practice, it will give you the skill. I'm Tiger Slade. See you next time on My Garage.